Here we have the Sirius Freedom two bike rack, which is supposed to be great for e-bikes, so we're gonna test it out. This is a bike rack that attaches via a tow hitch. So before I've only ever used the types of bike racks that strap to the back of your car. So I'm really looking forward to this one. It has a higher weight capacity, so it can hold two bikes of 60 pounds each. And this is the type of rack that the bike sits on top of. So especially for those women bikes with the lower step through frame, you don't have to worry about tilting the bike and trying to get it onto those arms that the other bike racks have. So I'm really excited to test this out. This is gonna allow us to bring our bikes along more often, go to the beach more and, you know, get more scenic rides because LA is not the most friendly bike city. So I'm looking forward to getting out of the city and biking more along the beach or anywhere really. I watched a couple of videos and assembly looks pretty simple. Uh, you only need two tools, so an adjustable wrench and I think an Allen wrench. And yeah, so let's open it up and see what we have to do. So this rack works with tow hitches that are either one and a quarter inch or two inches. So if you have one and a quarter, you just take this adapter off and then we can slide it in. That was really quick and easy. Well, Nate did all of the work, but it was only three pieces. So this bottom bar, this crossbar, and then this top part. And one thing I really like about it is that you can put this down so you can still open the trunk when the bikes aren't on the rack and you don't have to take the whole rack off. So that's pretty neat. All right, let's put the bikes on. The weight limit of the bike rack is 60 pounds per bike, and this is the Every Journey Fat Tire. It weighs 62.4 pounds with the battery, so we're going to remove the battery. And actually a common mistake that people make is to leave the battery in um, when they put their bike on a rear bike rack, and you should definitely take it out every time, regardless of the weight limit of your bike rack. I would advise to always take your battery out Keep it in the trunk or back seat, but don't leave it on the bike rack. It's too risky. All right, so we have the fat tire on the bike rack, but these trays are a little too small for the fat tire tires, <laughs> for the fat tires. So they actually sell a a fat tire tray that we'll need to get because the strap just doesn't reach around here. So we'll have to purchase those before we bring this along with us. So we're gonna take this off, put the regular Every Journey on and show you how that looks. We'll have to do a part two with the fat tire tray. So stay tuned for that. All right, the bike is on the rack. It was a little tricky to get the trays in place um, and everything just adjusted just right to fit the bike. But now that it's in place, we likely won't have to adjust it again. So next time it will be a lot easier. And yeah, it seems pretty sturdy. So we have the two trays, one for each wheel, strapping the wheels in. And then we have this adapter here, which attaches to the frame tube. So giving a little more support. And yeah, I think we're ready to go for a car ride and see how it fares. Okay, here we go. I wonder how it will affect the backup camera. It seems pretty steady. So that's the Saris Freedom 2x Crack. I like it. 
it makes it a lot easier to bring your e-bike around. It's, I think it's easier to use than those bike racks that strap to the back. The only con I would say is that you have to have a tow hitch installed. We had ours installed at the dealership, but I've also seen in our Facebook peddlers group, um, people are getting tow hitches installed at U-Haul and it seems like it's pretty affordable. So that might be something to check out if you want a tow hitch rack. Um, but I like it. I can't wait to take my bike to the beach, especially because I haven't been able to do that. I've been limited pretty much to this urban area and it's not the most bike friendly. Thank you for watching for more product reviews, tips and tricks, ride alongs, everything. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and join our Facebook Peddlers group. It's a great community. People love to post their product recommendations, ask questions, post ride photos, and just encourage each other to get outside and ride more. So make sure to join, download the 630 Pedaling app as well. You can see ride photos there and compete on the leaderboard. And most importantly, don't forget to get out and ride your bike. Don't forget, it's your journey, your experience. Enjoy the ride.